Today we're going to talk about string inverters, microinverters, and power optimizers. First, what is a power inverter? The simplest explanation is power inverters change the DC electricity into AC electricity that we use every day. What are the different inverters used in a solar system? Well, there are two. There are string inverters and there are microinverters. First, we're going to talk about string inverters. String inverters are the most common of all inverters. Basically, six to ten panels are connected in a string. They're connected together and into one inverter uh, or two inverters if you have a bigger system. The advantage to string inverters is uh, they are the simplest form and they work for most situations. They're also less expensive and uh, a little bit faster to install. Now the disadvantages of a string inverter is that all the panels are connected together and if one starts to fail because of shading then all of them can either are either lowered to the performance level of that panel or the system can shut down in rare cases. This is why oftentimes people get microinverters. So how is a microinverter different from a string inverter? A microinverter is directly connected to the solar panel whereas a string inverter is connected to a string of solar panels that are all kind of strung together. An advantage of a microinverter is that uh, it's connected to every panel, so if one panel is underperforming, it doesn't affect the other panels. Another advantage of microinverters is you have more freedom on where you want to place the panels on the roof. If you want to place some panels in one area and some panels in another area, you can do that with microinverters. Uh, also, if you need to expand your system, it's a lot easier to do that if you use microinverters. Basically, you can yield more electricity with microinverters. A disadvantage of microinverters is the price. Uh, because there's uh, one microinverter for every panel, it tends to be more expensive than if you just use a, a couple of string inverters for a bunch of panels. You also should monitor your system a little more closely because there are more parts that could fail. Now our third category, power optimizers, are also located in the back of the solar panel. It's usually an integrated system and it's kind of a hybrid between the microinverter and a string inverter. It optimizes the performance of each panel so there's less chance of a system failure. Instead of converting the DC electricity into AC electricity at the panel site, it conditions the DC electricity and then sends it to the string inverter. There aren't many disadvantages to a power optimizer other than the cost. If you are looking to save money and you, you don't need it, then it's fine to just work uh, off a string inverter. Thanks for watching, and to learn more about how you can go solar today, go to hahasmart.com and get started. Visit and like us on social media and follow us on YouTube.